Today's vlog, today is the final round of 16. I now have six mouthpieces lined up for you today. I'm gonna to make them slightly shorter because I'm running six, so apologies if you want the more in-depth one. It's actually quite difficult for me because I really enjoy playing a lot of these mouthpieces, but here we are, six mouthpieces, and what you need to do, and I hopefully I've got the edit right on like last time, just literally vote in the comment box below. I need more of you to vote. I'm not getting as many through as I did when I had the vote thing, but YouTube don't do that for me anymore, so I can't really do it. So just vote below. Um, I want to set a limit, so today is the 1st of February, you've got till the 3rd of Feb to vote on this, after that the, you might vote, but the votes won't be counted. So here we are, six alto mouthpieces, all played on my Yanagasawa W01, with the same reed and the same ligature, here we go. So that was K versus L. K versus L. Now we're going to do M versus N. M, M for Michael versus N for November. I will try and remember to make sure I switch over the things as it goes. But M versus N. Now that was K versus L. Vote. Either put two comments below. One for the first one, one for the second one. I'll put them both together. Anyway, this is mouthpiece M for Michael. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So today you should have a vote for K versus L, M versus N and O versus P. Please vote below. You can vote in separate comments if that helps. It would help me actually in terms of adding the votes up if you can do it in separates. But if you want to do it in one then I will read it and I will check it. But there you go. I, I wish I hadn't chosen 16 mouthpieces. Um, it's an awful lot of difference moving around between the two of them. But it's been really interesting. I will do the quarterfinals next week. So make sure you are subscribing and give us a like. Well, that time lapse worked, didn't it? <laughs> it's been one of those days today. Uh, you saw a little bit at the start of the vlog when I was out on my bike. Um, little story to tell you. Female friend says to me when I get my road bike, you need to change the pedals. Don't go for cleats straight away. You need to get used to your road bike, otherwise you'll come off. When you get to a junction, you'll forget to unclip your feet and go down. Male friend says to me, help me get the bike. Don't be so soft, you'll be fine. You just get on with it. It's not that difficult. First three rides on the bike, no problem whatsoever. I'm clipping myself, no issue. Today, at a road junction, get to the road junction, I have to stop for the traffic, traffic goes past, I think, right, off we go. Hadn't clipped myself in on the left, but on my right, gear was too high, <laughs> right on the floor, right on the road even. Thankfully there was no traffic, thankfully there was nobody really looking, because I did have a good look around and think, I hope nobody saw that, because that was quite embarrassing. But my hip and my shoulder, are now killing me a few hours later. So, lesson learned. I'd better listen to female advice rather than male advice, shouldn't I? As we all know. Anyway, it's been great to do these series of vlogs with these 16 mouthpieces. They're all randomly collected. They're just mouthpieces. Some are from, as I said, from Van Doren. There's some are from Didario who sent me and also from Sios. Um, and also they are mouthpieces that I own myself. I've gone through my drawer, hence why I had 16 of them. Um, 
There are all sorts of different lays, different tip openings, but different chamber sizes. But it's just interesting, same player, same saxophone, what sort of a difference you can get. What is noticeable to me is that the differences to me as a player, I said this before with reeds, are much greater than what is coming over on the recordings. There is a huge gap between some of the mouthpieces when I play them, but then when I come back to listen to them on the edit, it's not as pronounced. So I hope, you know, some of them are obviously, some of them you can tell whether it's a closed tip or an open tip. And I've deliberately, well, I've randomly chosen, but when they came out like that, I thought that's fine. But when we do the top eight, I'm gonna do them randomly, spend a little bit more time. But if I don't have to play take five again, it will be a date day at the right time because I'm sick and tired of playing those tunes now. Thank you very much for watching. Please do make sure you hit a like and subscribe. This is what I was up to this time last year uh, and this is my last vlog here. There's a new lesson coming on the Autumn Leaves course on Wednesday this week so if you haven't already signed up for the Autumn Leaves course have a look at this lesson and sign up over there. See you soon. Bye bye.